Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome guys. Today's video is all about Berbera Beach and the marine life. So what I'm basically going to do is follow around Jamal, my little boy who's six years old, who is a wannabe wildlife warrior. He loves everything animals and even more so loves everything marine animals. He loves fish. He's crazy about them. So we'll just follow him around. He's going to show us the puffer fish, the sea cucumbers, the eels, the crabs um, and uh, yeah I hope you enjoy it there's lots to see here we love it he's swimming in the background in the tide pools you probably see him there and he's got his goggles on he can stay there all day but he finds the most amazing things so uh, come along and I'll show you welcome to Beverly yes what do you got Jamal mud skippers what do they look like So plenty of Bye -bye. eels to be found at Berbera Beach. Woo! Now these woo, eels, woo, woo. they're actually they're not woo. dangerous. If you leave them alone, they um, <laughs> yeah, they're definitely hide, not aggressive. Oh, but um, these it? eels are actually quite oh, a popular wow. cuisine in Japan <laughs> and in under. China. Next, you will find plenty and plenty of puffer fish at Berbera Beach. These are also known as blowfish. They're a fascinating fish uh, that when they are actually feeling like they're in danger or they're being harassed by people, which we have found has been the case at Berbera Beach sometimes, they will actually blow up to three times their size. They uh, take in a lot of water and they blow up. And this is to look intimidating and scary and all their spikes come out so that hopefully the predator will leave them alone. So, um, so yes, so this has happened plenty of times at Berbera Beach, which um, we've not been happy about, but not us. We like to try and save the fishes. So when the tide goes out, sometimes what happens is the fish okay, will get need, caught in Jamal, a little puddle of water and uh, Jamal and I, we Jamal, like to go around and try and make sure that these fish have plenty of water and uh, survive being caught in the little tide pools. Yeah, we can. We can help. Now, puffer fish is a fish well, that uh, is highly toxic, to but it's actually it's organs way. of the fish that is highly toxic, mm -hmm. not actually the flesh. So it's actually a delicacy in China and Japan, the puffer fish, and it takes a very special chef to prepare this toxic fish. So the fish needs to be prepared by a licensed certified chef because one wrong move and this can be absolutely a deadly meal. So there's over 120 species of the puffer fish and they're actually, they just seem such a sweet fish. They're definitely not aggressive. Jamal can swim around them all day and they just um, seem to enjoy each other's company. But yeah, so they're definitely not aggressive in any way and um, yeah, they're a pleasant fish to have around. So as much as I really love them in the sea, I'm feeling like if ever there was an export opportunity, Seems like China okay. and Japan okay. absolutely love the fish that we have in Berbera Beach. And I don't think the locals will be eating necessarily the puff fish or the eels. We have here some sea urchins, which we saw again quite quite a few of them. Now this is a really unique little delicacy that also the Japanese really enjoy. So there's just a very small amount of meat right inside the sea urchin, um, underneath inside all those spiky tentacles. Now 
Now we've seen some local fishermen when we come down to Berbera oh, Beach going out and fishing and I know that they sell them locally. So there's lots of plenty of fresh fish to be had at Berbera Beach. So I'd love if someone could drop in the comments what actually is the type of fish that is most commonly fished out of Berbera Beach for the, lo the consumption of the locals. Crab underneath this amazing rock. Put it down on the ground. What is it? It's right here. Oh, a crab. Is it a big one? Yeah. It's hiding in there. Hello, crab. Huh? I'm trying to get a look at you, but you really don't want to be on my camera, do you? Huh? You really? You really? How am I trying to film you? Call to the other side. You're a bit camera shy. I'm going to catch you. You're not. You're leaving alone. Okay. We'll leave you alone. You say you don't want to be on my film. Yep. Come out. He doesn't want to come out. He wants to be left alone. He wants to be left alone. It's saying leave me alone, Caleb. Oh! <laughs> We've been leaving alone. trying to hide from Caleb. Come on, come here. <laughs> Sing, leave me alone. Oh, come. I'm coming right now. Oh, another one of those. It's another crab. Wow, Jamal. That's a good, oh, it's going to attack. Oh, what do you reckon, Jamal? What is it? What type of crab? Uh, uh, this crab's going to attack. That is so cool. Jamal, that's so cool. Oh, it's trying to attack him. Yes. Wow. Yep, okay. One more. Attack. Attack. Wow. Okay, I'm coming. Where are we off to now? Can I have a look at it? Yes. Okay. See your chance. Nice. So many of them, huh? I love Bebe Beach because it has a lot of coral and rock pools and all those stuff. What is it, Jamal? Sea cucumber, where? Yeah. Wow, was it soft and squishy and you stood on it? Yeah. Ew. Sea cucumber. Wait, is sea cucumbers poisonous? I don't know, but don't touch it, maybe. Oh. It blends in very well. Now, sea cucumbers just, are not poisonous, oh, is what I have actually learned. But sea cucumbers, now these seem to be quite an amazing creature because they've been claimed to be a international superfood, having medical value. They're super rich in antioxidants. Quite a few cultures eat them, but again. The Chinese love them and they, they're they eaten in Japan as well. Actually, the waters of, of China have actually kind of been depleted of the sea cucumbers because they absolutely love them and have overfished their sea cucumbers. So it's something that, again, if there was plenty of them that needed to be exported overseas, well, you've already got a big market for them, haven't you? So next, some advice for anyone who's coming to Berbera for a Maybe holiday. Um, if you're coming from overseas, definitely do bring goggles and do bring snorkels. Do bring anything that you and your family like to use when you go to the beach because we have tried to buy goggles. 
um, in Hargeza in Berber. Maybe we just don't know the right places to go, but this is a big need for our family, is uh, the need to be able to purchase goggles when you need them. So bring them with you, is my advice to any diaspora coming over. What have I got here, Jamal? Maybe this is the one we saved, Jamal. Okay, okay, hope you enjoyed. Check it out on the next one.